Hi, this is Mike with RPS Solar Pumps. Today I'm going to be answering some common questions from our recent solar pump video. Today's question is on the TPP, that's our tankless pressure pump system. And the question is, can the controller act as a charge controller when the pump is not pumping so it continues to charge at the batteries? So with the TPP controller, what's actually happening is there's a charge controller inside, and that's operating independent from the pump controller. So whenever the sun is shining on the panels and there's capacity remaining in the batteries, then it's taking that power from the sun and adding it into the batteries. Then whenever the pump fires up, it's running off the batteries. And so we can operate during the day, we can operate during the night. As long as there's capacity left in those batteries, we can run on the TPP. So depending on the exact system, it's either a 24 volt or a 48 volt battery bank. And off of that battery bank, you can actually run other things. So if you have DC lighting, that's a proper voltage, you can run it off that existing battery bank. You just wanna be careful you don't hook up too high of a load and over discharge your battery bank. So the great thing about the TPP controller is it's all in one and it's set and forget. So you don't have to go and make any adjustments. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook up your solar panels to it, you're gonna hook up your batteries, and you're gonna hook up your pump. And then it's just gonna operate. And so it's gonna automatically charge the batteries. When the pump needs power, it's gonna send that power to the pump. So really you don't have to worry about, am I pumping from panels, am I pumping from batteries? It's all being taken care of that controller to get you the runtime you need. A common question is, during the day when there's solar available, is the pump running off of solar or is it running off of batteries? So this question's easier to understand if we break it into three different scenarios. The first scenario is we have more solar coming in than the pump is using for power. In that case, all of the solar is going to the pump and any extra remaining power is gonna go into our batteries. The second case is, it doesn't really happen in real life, but it's perfectly balanced. We have the exact same solar coming in that the pump is using. In that case, all of the solar power is going to the pump. The third case is, either at nighttime in low light conditions, where we have a little bit of power coming in from the panels, the pump is using more power. In that case, the controller is gonna supplement the solar power with our battery power in order to give the power to the pump that we need. So while those three different scenarios are taking place, you don't have to worry about it. The controller takes care of all of it seamlessly, so you don't have to worry as long as you have sufficient sunlight to recharge your batteries and provide power to the system during the day, you're gonna have plenty of water. We're releasing more solar water pumping videos on a weekly basis, so if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.